Virtual reality is a fascinating way to travel using nothing more than the power of technology. With a headset and motion tracking, VR lets you look around a virtual space as if you're actually there, or play a game as though you're really in it. It's been gaining traction in recent years thanks to compelling games and experiences, though it still seems very much in a state of flux, with headsets coming and going fairly rapidly. We're tracking the best of what's currently on the market here. In the current wave of VR, Oculus Rift was the first big name, and it still holds a major position in the sector. However, it is giving up on its dedicated tethered VR headset, discontinuing the Rift S to focus on the standalone Quest 2. It doesn't mean that you can't use PC VR with the company's new headset, you'll just need an accessory cable. Oculus Quest 2 is a $300 standalone VR headset that is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, an upgrade over the original Quest Snapdragon 835. This VR headset provides a complete VR experience in a single unit with no wires required, except to charge the headset, and currently has the highest resolution of any consumer VR headset at 1920 by 1832 A surprisingly large library of VR software is available in the onboard store, and it has two motion controls for full 6DOF head and hand tracking. You can still enjoy tethered VR with the Quest 2, though. With the $79 Oculus Link cable, you can hook up the Quest 2 to your PC and use it just like a tethered Rift S to play PC-specific VR games like Half-Life, Alex. Though the cable is expensive, considering the Quest 2 is $100 less than the original Quest, it still comes out ahead in terms of value, even with the accessory. Check the link below for products and price details. The PlayStation VR is compelling due to Sony backing its development and its affordability and availability compared to gaming PCs. All you need is the headset, a PlayStation 4, and a PlayStation camera, included with most PlayStation VR bundles. PSVR has some excellent games like Moss, Res Infinite, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, and Five Nights at Freddy's, Help Wanted. The DualShock 4 works with most PlayStation VR games, so you don't even need motion controls. However, those motion controls are where the PlayStation VR lags behind. The headset still uses the PlayStation Move wands from the PlayStation 3 era, and they aren't nearly as capable or comfortable as the Oculus Touch controllers. In addition to being expensive, they're not always included in PlayStation VR bundles. It appears that the PlayStation VR will work with the upcoming PlayStation 5. Sony hasn't announced any new VR hardware, though the PS5 will have a new camera accessory that will presumably enable PSVR. Check the link below for products and price details. HTC's Vive Cosmos headset boasts a higher resolution and replaces the external base stations with outward-facing cameras for motion tracking. Compared to the Oculus Quest 2, it's quite expensive at $699, but it's a comprehensive package for whole-room VR. With the Vive Cosmos Elite, you can use external base stations to add to how it follows your head and motion controllers, though it costs $899, like the Oculus Quest 2. The Vive Cosmos works with Steam VR and has its own VR software store called Viveport. In addition, Viveport also offers the Viveport Infinity membership, which provides unlimited access to VR experiences through subscriptions rather than a la carte software purchases. Check the link below for products and price details. HTC Vive Cosmos is expensive, but Valve's own PC-tethered VR headset, the Valve Index, is even more expensive. If you buy everything you need, except the computer, of course, it costs $999. Reusing HTC Vive base stations can reduce the price to $749, or you can purchase only the headset for $499, 
and supply your own motion controllers and base stations. The Index has a 120Hz refresh rate, with an experimental 144Hz mode, that's higher than most of its competitors, and the controllers have an advanced grip system for more natural, precise interaction. The Valve Index has not yet been tested. Check the link below for products and price details. Microsoft is promoting its partnership with headset manufacturers to create a series of Windows 10 Ready, Mixed Reality, headsets. The distinction between virtual reality and mixed reality is dubious, but it indicates integration of augmented reality, AR, using cameras on the helmet. With all the headsets we've tested, the hardware is solid and the setup is straightforward, but position tracking isn't as accurate as tethered headsets with external sensors or the Quest 2 with its outward-facing tracking camera. The Windows Mixed Reality Store also doesn't have as many compelling VR experiences as the Rift and Steam VR stores, though you can play Steam VR games on Windows Mixed Reality headsets with a bit of software hacking. There have been several third-party manufacturers working on Windows Mixed Reality headsets over the last few years, but the only current generation consumer headset is the HP Reverb G2. Check the link below for products and price details.